magical moment is what brings our cameras to the historic city of Verona. Ciao, as we say in Italy, and welcome to Diaspora Network. On the show today, we follow a Nigerian-Italian chef from Edo State, Tracy Eboi-Bodin. She recently won Italia's MasterChef 11, and everyone is talking about how she did it. Our special report looks at how Tracy fuses Nigerian cuisine into her recipes. That's her winning secret. And we get an exclusive look into her mastery at one of Verona's finest restaurants, Ristorante La Canonica. It's going to be a fantastic episode, so stick around. First of all, let's just take a look at the news of the week. President Mohamedou Buhari has joined tens of thousands of Nigerians across the world in celebrating the victory of British Nigerian boxing superstar Anthony Joshua over his recent win against Jermaine Franklin in London's O2 Arena. The two-time former world heavyweight champion outpointed Franklin in an intense 12-round fight, which left many fans on the edges of their seat. In a statement, the president said that the boxer has demonstrated that by hard work, patience, dedication, persistence and humility, those who dare do win. Adding that he prays that this success will be a stepping stone to one of the greatest comebacks in boxing history. With talks that Anthony Joshua will soon be taking up the long-anticipated fight with Tyson Fury, the 33-year-old says he is fired up and hungry and that he is determined to raise the bar again. Congratulations to him once again. The Nigerian Diaspora Youth Ambassador Group, or NDYA, has called on the federal government to cut bilateral ties with Northern Cyprus. Their pleas follow a series of frightening reports from Nigerians who are studying in the region who say they are being racially profiled. The NDYA president, Ambassador David Victor Alozi, has said that Nigerian students with the appropriate travel documents are being denied entry into the country for inadequate reasons. He adds that although Nigerians have been urged not to move to the country, universities in the region have been encouraging students to study there. Late last year, the government issued a travel advisory through the Foreign Ministry, advising Nigerians against falling prey to fake admissions and university opportunities in northern Cyprus. The British supermarket chain Sainsbury's is stocking Nigerian favourites such as Ayamashe, Eforuro and Doddle Gizzard, amongst many others. TikTok users went into a frenzy after a user by the name Tommy Anderson recorded his hunt for the tasty dishes and his content also featured a taste test with his mother. However, as many people in the TikTok users' comments mentioned, the products are pretty much out of stock by the time they get to the store, reflecting the demand for Nigerian food in Britain. The producer of the ready-made meals is Tasty African Food Restaurants, which has been dishing out Nigerian cuisines for the past two decades. Tasty has over 23 branches in South East London and the Kent area. Juliana Olayinka, reporting for Diaspora Network News in London. Now, Tracy's win on MasterChef Italia reverberated across many continents. So, the quest to find this chef with magical fingers led us to this picturesque city. The quest to find Tracy took us through skies, high above clouds and over mountains, to the renowned Verona Catullo Airport. If we can remind you to keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated, it must remain securely fastened whenever the seatbelt sign is on. These are the streets where Tracy made history. But she didn't start out here. Originally from Edo State, South South Nigeria, Tracy moved to Italy with her family in 2006. She would often cook for her parents and showed keen interest further when she worked as a waitress, a job she did for 15 years. Her passion caused her to proceed to culinary school, where she honed her mastery to become a top chef. The world knew her name after she dared to audition for Master Chef Italia, an international reality cooking competition replicated in over 60 countries. But her win wasn't easy, as she was surrounded by stiff competitors who served up the finest Italian food. Then Tracy had the unique idea 
to fuse Nigerian cuisine into her Italian recipes. This novel idea has led her to have many more wins as an author, mentor to upcoming Nigerian chefs, and a brand influencer. Now, Verona has preserved a number of historic sites and iconic monuments like Castel Vecchio and River Adige. It is also the site of many famous restaurants that serve the finest Italian cuisine. So it's amazing that a Nigerian like Tracy could win such a competition in this place by fusing Nigerian and Italian cuisine. Now let's show you how she did it. The ancient city has so many well-preserved cobblestone streets, which we weave through to get to Ristorante La Canonica, where Tracy often cooks. All right, now let's walk in and get to meet Tracy. Hello, looking for Tracy. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, oh welcome. Oh, hi Tracy, hello, nice good to, to see you. you. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> prego, prego. I'm getting it right now. <laughs> no, this is your kitchen. Yeah. It's great to see you. Thank you. And thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this. <laughs> First of all, coming into Italy, Verona, there's so many restaurants. Every, every, every angle. Yeah. I'm telling you, what is it like, you know, being Nigerian and then coming here to this place and knowing Italian food better oh than my God. Italian? <laughs> Uh, it's not easy, it's a little bit difficult. It's difficult for women in this section, you know, uh. cooking. It's very difficult even for the Italian women. Uh, normally there are so many famous Italian chefs, but they are all men, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> now you've come to change that, yeah? Yes, I said, okay, this is my turn. No, it's time to change something. We, yeah. Women know how to cook. We know how to cook. Yeah. We want to cook the high fine dining, not yeah. only the men. So that's yeah. why I'm here. <laughs> So, you know, when you come in and people see you and they say, this is the chef, do they ah. believe? No, or they do don't. No, no, no. Actually, no. They, <laughs> they just look at me, you know, the way we look at Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Up to down like that, I say, wow. Okay, you cook? Yes. Do you even eat? <laughs> <laughs> say, yes, of course. So, I say, don't worry. I'm not going to tell you anything. Just give me some ingredients and make the food for you. Then yeah. you can you can. Tell okay. me what you think. <laughs> so this is your home. This is this is home yeah. for you. This is where I feel I really feel good when I cook. I go in on in another dimension. You know, some yeah. normally there's some music on the. You know, uh, I, I like when I'm cooking. When I'm looking at the pot boiling. I yeah. just be you know yeah. dancing. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> it makes me cook well. <laughs> so how did you decide? You know what? I want to be a chef, not just any kind of chef, but a chef in Italy. Oh, uh, this is a very difficult question. It yeah. seems simple, but it's difficult. But I don't actually know. I always have this passion for cooking. Like back then in Nigeria, I started cooking when I was very, very, very young. You know, uh. looking, my mom, my auntie is cooking. I love food. I love to eat everything. So when I came here in Italy, it wasn't really uh, easy for me to eat because everything was different from what I was used to. Exactly. So step by step, I started trying and tasting different things and okay I like this I like that I like that so we all know that the Italian cuisine is very famous worldwide so I said oh I need to make this mine I need to make this cuisine mine then when I went to master chef I decided I don't know something inside me happened I said I want to make a combination of the two cuisines, the Nigerian and the Italian cuisine. Yeah. Because there are so many similar ingredients and similar yeah. things. Yeah. So that's what I did. And people are so excited and amazing yeah. and they're so curious to see what kind of food yeah. does she make. And I hear that's why you won, because it was you feel different two different types of culture yeah. in the same food. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think I won for so many reasons. Um just you know being capable of mixing these two cultures yeah. and they were surprised seeing me and said okay how long have you been no are you were you born in Italy they said yeah. no uh, okay you came when you were two years three years old <laughs> no 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 say ah so you forget everything about Nigeria what no 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 come on what do they talk <laughs> <laughs> oh you can speak Italian yes of course oh my they said, no 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 I'm Nigerian who lives in Italy who loves Italian food but I can never 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 forget my background <laughs> but just listening to you, you have a thick Italian accent. Yes, I know. That nobody would know. I know. You know where you were from. Mm -hmm. How did you did you struggle with the language when you first came? And 
of course. Uh, <laughs> of course. When I came here, uh, March 2006, I don't know why. I was. I believe that in Italy they speak English. I don't know why. I had this conviction that they speak English <laughs> in Italy. So when we arrived, they just saw the television and they was, I said, what, what is this language? This is Italian. I said, I said what? Yes. You mean I have to learn this language? I said, yes. Oh my God, take me back. <laughs> Tracy tells us how Nigeria's colorful dishes inspire her menus at Ristorante La Canonica. I like colorful food, yeah. so sometimes all of my plates, they are so colorful. Mm. That's why I like using vegetables, because mm -hmm. nature gives us so many colorful so products. Color, yeah. So we need to use it without using artificial colors. We have the spices. So normally they say, oh, your food is so colorful. I say, yes, because life needs to be colorful. <laughs> All those dull food, I don't want them. Yes, I know. <laughs> I want colors. And then obviously back at home, back in Nigeria, the, the food is so rich. Yes. And the, the colors exactly. are so vibrant. Are so vibrant. So is that the kind of thing you're infusing into your food? Yes. Yeah. That is the exact thing I look like. When you look like, when you look at a food like stew, a yes. goosey soup, yes. a bono soup, just, oh, I want to eat this, you know, without <laughs> yeah. even tasting, yeah. it gives you the sensation of, I want to eat this. Yeah. So that's how, uh, what I'm trying to do over here. Mm. Like when you look at the food, fine, yeah. it gives you appetite. Yeah. You know? oh, so no, that. upcoming chefs, new chefs that are watching you, that are training, should know that the food should look appealing. Yeah? Yes, of course. Because when I came here to Italy, I really find it difficult for me to eat. Because I eat first thing with my, with my eyes. So eyes. I just look at the plate and say, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. But when I see colors, when I see green, yellow, I say, mm, what is this? It's yeah. colorful. I, I want to taste. Yeah. Tell me something. When, when you said you were going to cook something, I <laughs> thought it was going to be pasta or rice. Because when people hear Italian yeah. food, the first thing they think is pizza, pasta, pasta rice. I know. Yeah? Mm, no, there's so many, many, many food here in Italy. I know uh, worldwide. In overseas, the Italian food they are known for pizza, 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 and pasta. Yes, of course, it's one of the base of the Italian cuisine. But they have so many things like yeah. soup, so many soup, yeah. so many soup. They have meat, they have a lot of fish. Yeah. So that's why I I normally use in my kitchen vegetables. I love veggies, you know, uh, using some spices a little bit. But I, I still cook fish, I cook meat, but I prefer using vegetables. So today, this is one of the mm the food they do here but i'm going to do it my own way of okay course. so i'm going to watch you do your magic okay you tell us what you're doing yes and then the best part for me and my crew is to taste this <laughs> of course <laughs> i can't wait to taste this food all my guys behind the scene are waiting all right so go ahead no problem okay i'm going to start yeah. with the onion okay so i'm going to cut the onion Coming up after the break, we get to taste the magic this chef has cooked up. Welcome back to Diaspora Network, coming to you from Verona. Behind me, you can see the arena, which is an iconic site. There are also loads of restaurants in this area, where Tracy is now known as a celebrity chef. But she didn't start out that way. Let's hear the rest of her interesting story. Yeah, I go. Great. You have so, those now? Yes, of course. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. It's colorful. Very, I've been waiting to do this, so. Okay. Let's taste. Maybe let's just see. before you start, you can taste it. So, okay. you like some, some wine. I don't know. Mm. So, mm. lovely. So, this is fantastic. Thank you so well, much. I hope you like it. This. Yes, let's taste. <laughs> It's colorful. <laughs> Very, I've been waiting to do this. So tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, we know the cooking side. Mm -hmm. Your early life, 
Where did you grow up? Um, I'm, I'm born in Edo State, in Bini City, so I'm a Bini girl. My parents are from Bini, and I lived there till 2006 when I came to Italy. Oh. I studied, I went to school. My mom was a teacher, and she teaches in my own school. Oh my God, that was terrible. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Having your mom a teacher, and not only teaching in your own school, it was... I was supposed to be the first in the class. My my brother was the first in the class. You know, you're not gonna give me shame. Oh, my children don't want to, don't can be dull. <laughs> yeah. So will you, will you say that your your culture, your heritage, you know, from where you come from and all that, um, has helped you to become who you are today? Yes, of course, mm. of course. Mm. I always say I uh, I don't know it would be the same thing if I wasn't born over there. Yeah. You know, the f the first few years here in Italy. So that there was a part of me trying to forget that side, trying mm -hmm. to forget my, you know, my Nigerian part. Yeah. You know, like it was, I, I sometimes feel like it was negative for me not to be born here. Because I met so many people born here who speak Italian, they know the culture, they speak about many things. I said, oh, why was he born here? Maybe it would be different, it would be better if I was born here. But yeah. now I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just, I'm... I feel I'm special because I wasn't born here because I have the these two culture that lives in me. I have two mm. two soul, you know, mm. that combines together but it lives they live peacefully. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But the fusion of both cultures in Tracy's heart and on her palate didn't come easy. Her fiance and manager tells us about her hesitance around new flavors in the beginning. Initially Tracy uh, don't want to taste. <laughs> you don't want to taste. She didn't want to taste. And so, for me, it's not easy. But I improve taste, 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 taste. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. This, no. This, no. This, yes. This, yes. Is good. Is very good. I tell you, and after, you can. Tell me, yes or not, but taste. Today, she's a master of Italian cuisine, though more determined to represent Nigeria in Italy, not just through food, but clothing. She's happy that her scarves attracted the right kind of attention during the competition. I uh, normally notice during summer here, there's mm. so many women mm. that use this kind of stuff, you know, their hair, the tie, it was, yeah. it's... It's colorful, mm. it's brilliant, it's, mm. it represents life, you know, mm. so many colors and there are so many people who have been to Africa yeah. for vacation, they say, oh, my heart, a piece of my heart, I left a piece of my heart over there. So when I do this, it reminds me of my journey to Africa. Yeah. So, so many people ask me, where do you buy this thing, where do you get it, can I get one, how do you tie your hair? <laughs> It and was a, you're, you're proud of it, yeah? Yes, of course, yeah. I am. I saw your face when you won. It was as if you went to a different planet. Um, what, what, you just summarize in one word how you felt when you won the competition. I was <laughs> in another planet, literally. <laughs> okay. I was really in another planet, really. I, I, okay, we did, our, uh, we did everything. We were three, so I cooked. I, I was so happy yeah. because... When we were uh, almost at the ending, I said, I don't, I, don't even, I don't care of winning because I've already won. Uh -huh. I just wanted to be at the final. So being there, I said, the others, they did a great job. So I'm so happy. But you know, that, oh my God, I don't know who, who they're going to call. So I never expected my, my name. Yeah. I was just, you know, thinking, uh, oh, I did that. Okay, now the winning. So, Tracy, ah! Oh my, it was <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't realize. Mm -hmm. And you know, even for about a week and a half, I couldn't eat. And while Verona is her home, she's not forgotten her roots, and she proved this during a recent visit to Edo State for the Week of Italian Cuisine. Hi, everybody again. I, we just arrived at Bini City, my hometown. I was born here. So the Bini Italian girl is in town. I'm home. But I would like to show you many things because I can't wait to show you how is my city. But first of all, I need to do the check-in and just know Dress up as a mini girl. Oh, I just met the uh, new state governor, so it's the first time, of course. And our guest star, Tracy. Tracy. Oh, yeah, okay, you're going to cook for us this afternoon. <laughs> Her mission is to be a shining example of what a young woman from Edo State can achieve in the diaspora and reverse stereotypes in the process. She tells us how. When I went home to Nigeria, I even went to the parliament. 
at Abuja, yeah. and they asked me a similar question, mm. and I said, we need to educate people, mm. Mm. to educate, to even show them the, the good side even of the overseas, for those who want to go outside Nigeria, but we need to, you need to give them, um, you know, a country where they don't have to feel that need of going out. Mm -hmm. Like the cooking, as I said before, in Lagos, I saw so many, there's so many Italians, so many, but it's so many people from outside that comes to Nigeria, that works there. So give them the, the chance. Mm. It's like chance. Put on more culinary school. Mm. Because there are so, I saw so many talents, but I went to different schools. When there was these girls, they were speaking of food. I did this, I did this cake, I did, their eyes were shining. Yeah. Oh my God, give them the chance to show what they are able to do. That is the same thing I say here in Italy. They will say, oh, Nigerians, we know the what they talk, what they think about Nigerians. I said, okay, have you ever go to those, you know, uh, refugee camps yeah. and ask all them together, the girls, the boys, everybody, and said, okay, what, do you have any talent? What can you do? Uh -huh. Do you know how to cook? I uh, know I don't have to, I don't know how to, how to cook, but I would like to learn. Okay, come will give you a scholarship or something. Yeah. What can you do? I can make hair. Okay, you know, give them a chance. Mm. Because me, I do my hair myself because there's nobody. You don't, you don't <laughs> find even Nagina Saloon here. It's incredible. Uh. And I, I know, I know there's so many Nigeria who can make their own hair. So mm. give them a chance, give them the opportunity to show their talent, to mm. show their ability. And what would be your advice to young people who find themselves in this country who have seen you now getting to the top and want to be like you, what do you tell them? Work hard. Yeah. Because it's not easy. Life, it's not easy. And when they ask me, how do you make it? I say, because I'm a hard worker. That's mm. it. My mom yeah. has always taught me, if you want more, you have to do more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I always do. I've did a lot of job. I've worked in a lot of places here in Italy. Um, so I don't, I do, I say back then in Nigeria, I know how to walk a lot, walk kilometers to go to the farm. So yeah. Yeah. I don't feel so much, even when I'm tired, I don't show I'm tired. Yeah. So I need to do it. It's, if I have to do it, I have to do it. Then after I can go to rest, I can sleep. They, <laughs> my fiance always tell me there's time to sleep <laughs> and there's time that you, you sleep forever. So it's time to move. Oh. So that's, it's that's time to move. Yeah. So you, st you, you stand, you have your legs, so it's time to move. That's yeah. hard working, keep doing it. It might take a long time to see the result, but mm. the result will surely come. Mm. And there you have it. Tracy's success proves that Nigerians in the diaspora continue to contribute to national development. They engage in laudable projects. And of course, they fuse Nigeria's rich culture and heritage with the cultures of the various countries in which they reside. And that's it on the show. You can watch other episodes of Diaspora Network on www.channelstv.com. I'm Ijoma Bonyato from Verona here in Italy, as they say, ciao. And let's do this again some other time.